up tech nerds lottie here again we're finally back from holiday we're going to do a quick run through of what we're doing on the centurion and what we're going to be doing on the motor so during our travels we managed to procure quite a bit of stuff not only for the engine but also for the centurion the centurion is 99 percent done uh probably a little bit too high actually uh the driveline is done. She runs, she scoots, she does everything that we wanted to do, uh, except for the elevation on the turret. So I've got to run through and do that. So that's gonna be one of our jobs for this leg of our adventure. The power traverse works on it, so I managed to get all of that up and running. I will do a video showing exactly how that runs and operates. We have also, uh, we're getting a metlet cover made, so it's gonna look extra pretty. We're also getting a, a bar made for the IR light. Actually, we've got the one that we're gonna be using hidden, I believe, yep, here it is. So this is the bar that the um, IR light goes onto. Uh, so we're getting one made up. We've got the IR light that's in this box here. We are also getting, uh, we're lining up at the moment. We've pretty much already got it all. We're getting the equipment for the infrared system. So you can actually see outside. So we're very excited about that. I know a few people commented that this model of Centurion never had IR lights. That is true for the British tanks, to my knowledge. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, not Australian tanks. Australian tanks always had the infrared system um, uh, installed on them or the ability to. So yeah, this one will have infrared when we're done with it. I also managed to procure the proper <laughs> uh, book for the gunnery, which I am really happy about. So a few little niggly details that I uh, wanted to double check. So now I've got the book to quickly run through all of that. Again, I'm gonna be doing a video exactly explaining pretty much everything in the turret because this one is such a good example. So very happy about that. Uh, there probably won't be too much more to talk about in the engine bay because it is done. Uh, but again, if you have any questions, queries, or whatever, let me know and I'll, I will do a video covering whatever. Uh, this is exactly where we left it off. So it's, uh, still a piece of crap. It hasn't magically got better in the month that we were away. Still looking nice and rusty. So we're going to pull parts off it, make it all nice and shiny. We've pulled these parts off it too, but we are ultimately going to be using the other engine as the base. So that is this one over here. It is definitely the better of the two. So this will be our base. We're gonna clean it all up, take all the good stuff from the other engine, like that stuff over there, put it on this engine here. We've got more stuff under here. We are gonna have to clean up these liners. These ones are the dodgy ones, so they're beyond uh, usable. These ones are good. We've got new old stock, actually. We've recoded that one. Uh, we've gotta fix that one. We've got all of our stuff. Um, yeah, we've got more than enough Centurion parts, so we're, we're quite happy about that. We managed to procure some more fan belts which is really good because fan bolts on Centurion is horrible. So getting new ones fitted will save us a lot of heartache in the future, specifically for the owner of said vehicle. He will enjoy not having to do the fan belts ever again, hopefully. More brown boxes, Centurion stuff. If anyone is curious, uh, yeah, they're more than welcome to contact me about Centurion stuff. We might have something available to you. So yeah, that's all really good. 
Uh, eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed we managed to get some original Rolls-Royce service toolkits. Is that someone there? Unfortunately, they are not complete. So this is the more complete of the two. It's just missing that, 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 and that one. And that one's got a little bit less than this, but it is still pretty quite nice on the inside. So we are in the market for Rolls-Royce tools. If you have them, if you know which tools go into this specific set, we would love to hear from you. But yeah, we um, were very, very happy with <laughs> with these toolkits. Uh, they, yeah, they're all original, really nice, and we are going to use them because they are made for this line of work. I'm very excited about that, so quite happy. So there you have it. That is our run through of everything that we're going to be doing. If you have any specific questions or queries or whatever have you about this tank or engine that you want me to cover, let me know. I'm going to be doing daily uploads, so if you have a question, I can answer it the next day if you want me to. So, yep, we're, we're happy to be back at work and it's going to be good. So leave a nice comment in, down below and we will see you on the next one. Bye.